should a woman be submissive? Because ultimately what we're doing here, we're reinforcing the importance of traditional roles. We're just gonna get some input. You know, not everyone's gonna agree. You guys gotta understand that. Not everyone is going to agree. In fact, most people are gonna disagree. Exactly what you think it is. Cheers to the good fellas. To the good fellas. The real unwoke nonetheless. And weirdos that I run into, I'm gonna run, encounter someone cra uh, rational. Hey! This bitch got anxiety. This bitch got anxiety. And someone just tested her the fuck up. Now I even got her woken up. So is someone gonna come take care of her? Okay, what? Well, okay. Relax. You okay? Relax. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying relax. It seems like you're you're slightly anxious. Your emotions are elevated here. You okay? Who? Oh. You. You said. I mean, when you first joined Are you the. Looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm sorry. I'm looking at you through another software that I'm I'm running through. But I, uh, hi, oh, hi. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Are you okay though? I'm I'm genuinely asking because that was kind of scary. Yeah, because Jemmy, she's worked up now. Your dog. Look at her. What's the dog's she's name? So hysterical. What's the dog's Gemini. name? Gemini. Gemini. Gemini Land. Gemini okay, but Land hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second here. Hold up. The, the 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 main question is, why are you being so emotional when you're a man? Because I can be. What's wrong with that? No, you're right. No, no, you're absolutely my right. Emotions being in touch with my sexuality have to do with anything. Wait a second. Let's not go down that lane. I didn't go there. I was simply asking. Why do you have to be? I don't need to ask nine questions now. Come on, we educated now, right? No, no. Listen, I think. Okay, I think you're. What's I think up? you're. I think we're. I came off in the wrong um, element. I apologize. So what I'm asking is, why is it? Why is it appearing that you're being hysterical about whatever's happening with your dog, and everything seems to be okay? Damn. <laughs> All uh, right. So the question for the evening is, should Oops. Hold up. Sorry about that. Uh, should a woman be submissive? Uh, depends. What term are we talking about? Submissive as far as uh, cooperation. I think it works better if, you know, if both sides are not trying to kill each other. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from a guy who has got a plot with about 139 twins who are all female and he's the only male in the group. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you married, my guy? I'm not. All right. Um, ever expect to be married one day, or? I've been engaged three times. Yoinkers. So you've been. So in other words, you've been bitten the fucking ass three times. I've been engaged three times to the same idiot three different times. What the? And I'm not planning to make it a fourth time with this person. Well, what the flying hell happened, man? Um, she's an Aquarius. I'm a Taurus. She got bored. Oh, no, no, said, no. Don't give me that shit. When I asked her, I said, well, why do you, you know, did this shit and do that shit? Her response was, and this is funny to me because most people, they have a reason why they cheat on you. But her solution was, oh, you're too faithful, you're too loyal, you're too this, you're too careful. So in other words, you you were so in other words, you were too much of a good guy. Beta bear. Basically. And right. then when I asked her, I said, Would you have liked me not to be honest with you and she on you? And she goes, No. So when we did it the second time, I treated her we sixty the opposite way. And she was okay with that for about yeah. uh, about two years. And then I found out that she more was into a go digger and she didn't want to be tied down to shit. God damn, man. We know what that you know what that means for you, my friend, right? You've got poor judgment. Means, you have poor judgment. Well, you know the funny part about that is because when she left and, and she made a big scene about it. Mm -hmm. A big scene about my friends. My friends, who are again, who are all female, looked at her and said, Fuck you. We're gonna go date him now. <laughs> and 
<laughs> he goes, no, wow. you won't. And at that same time, at that same time, three girls walked up and said, we'll date you, and we don't care if you marry us and have kids. We'll all date you. So where and are you at? Like, so go ahead, go ahead. So when I asked her, I said, so I heard of the grapevine that you've been talking about me. She goes, you still with those same girls? I said, yeah, I'm still with those same girls. But I said, they don't like you worth crap. And she goes, damn, maybe I did overjudge you. What? What type of shit is that? I don't know, but I laughed. I told her, I said, you know what? There's a call to uh, block button for a reason. Goodbye, click. Smackers! <laughs> No, okay. All right. All right. Come on. I got some questions for you. So, where are you at today as far as dating wise? Is are you is it something you you kind of are you prioritizing it differently now or are you just saying fuck it all 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 together? I'm just I'm out of it. I'm out the game. I'm more um, I'm more uh, more picking on better solutions on people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not getting stuff to the wind like I used to. Um, I realized that if they have any red flags, that's a hint to not fall forward with them. Yeah. And it's like, like I told my brother, I told him about this girl I was interested in, and he starts clacking up laughing. He's younger than me, by the way. Okay. And I laugh, and I go, I should think about this. And he laughed, and he told me, he goes, Parker, he goes, you don't have a problem with girl solution. He goes, you just need to find the right partner to be with. He goes... I can't get a damn person to go on a date. You got three to four girls a week that want to spend time with you. And you're yeah. not doing shit. He goes, you, <laughs> sing, you do your own damn shit. He goes, you walk down the street and they come to you. Oh. He goes, I go do my on the other way. <laughs> okay, so do you have... <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Anyway, uh, do you have kids? Uh... No, I had. Wow, that was a slow no, man. Well, like I have a kid with my ex, but it's not biology mine. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay. He, okay. Still, he still calls me dad because he's known me since he was like born. Okay, so you, you you made it out of the viscous innards unscathed. Uh, I, I think I uh, should give you a round of applause for that. Hold up here. Uh, you're not going to hear it, but I got this little effect here. There we go. We're just going to give them a round of applause. You made it out the abyss, man, and you have no kids. Are you – okay, hold up. Let me hit the – whoa, six. Uh, are you – oops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, so are you uh, – how are you? I am 25. Oh, great, great, great. So at this time now, you should just be focusing on yourself and, you know, just not really taking a relationship serious, man. Well, it's funny because one of my friends is like, well, what are you going to do now? Like, you've done all that. I said, I said, I'm at that point in my journey where I've made money, I've traveled. Now I'm like at the point that I want to settle down with someone. I can't. At 25? <laughs> I've traveled the world three times. I've Bro, been to Alaska, I've been to travel it again. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, 25 is too fucking young. Okay, how about this? I don't want to prejudge you, but do you think that right now you're at least financially status? You've, you're a potential high earner, uh, you know, a 15 percenter type shit. Um, are you able to provide means, adequate means to a family right now? Yes. <clears throat> that was kind of reluctant. I don't know. That was a little hesitation there too, a little bit. I can detect. Well, uh, okay, so I don't. Do you do anything about business or anything? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty savvy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, so, okay, so I'm up in the top 100. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're gonna give my so, man another round of applause for that. So I'm like up there, but. I'm the type of person that, after traveling and talking and all this, I like having someone by my side that I can share interests and values. Be like, hey, I feel right. this when you're traveling here. Yeah. Let me go back and show you what I know mm -hmm. so we can teach the next time. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't want yeah. us to <laughs> I get you, man. I get you hundred percent. Um I don't want to uh digress too much here. I know I said I was gonna ask you a question. You answered it uh, uh with a wealth of uh you know your experience, your you, you know, your understanding, your perspective. I appreciate that. But before I go, um I did want to ask you, so yeah. You can say there all you want. I know. Yeah, yeah, you're having a fucking great old time, aren't you? (laughs) I know. I know. Hey, look, man, I get it. I get it. Look, look what I'm doing over here. I'm having a great time myself. But uh, I was just getting on, you know, I, I see I was talking to the audience. I was talking to my my 64 bots about my uh I was talking to him about um, the 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 uh, the ratio for whenever I get on this 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 app, and I said that I I estimated it was going to be like a fifteen to two ratio. You know, for every fucking weirdo you encounter on this app, you're going to run into a, a rational, sane, so, of sound mind mind and body human being. And um, you're you were actually number six. Uh oh shit, got a buddy jumping in on here. One second, my buddy's jumping. You probably can't see it. Hey, DP, DP. Uh, yes. Hold up. He's going to say something, man. Tell me if you can hear my friend DP in the back. Hey, Derek. Derek, your audio. Your audio is terrible. Give me a second, man. <sighs> See what happened when a black man tries to run a show over here? The shit just turns out fucking ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to toast you for that one because that takes that takes. I'm gonna run my own my own podcast. You know, if it goes up in smoke, it goes up in smoke. <laughs> okay, hey, okay, hey, buddy, uh, DB Love, my boy Derek's gonna say something. Tell me if you hear him. I got to make sure my audio is all connected. Derek, can you see the screen? What I have on my screen? Uh, I can see your hat. I can hear him. Okay, you can see my hat, but ki- hold up. Let me f- give me a sec. You can hear him though. Yeah, I can hear him. All Very right. wary, but I can hear him. Can you hear him, Derek? Yeah, I can hear him. You can hear the gentleman in the back? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right, uh, DB Love, I'd like to introduce you to my buddy DP with the CC, with the EE. <laughs> I call him with the EE. You can catch him on TV. But his name's Derek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's, what's goodies? If, you want, if we want to get more formal about this, you can just call me Mr. Ford or Parker. Give me a second. I got to fix my fucking, um, uh-oh. All right, Derek, hold up. Tell me when uh, it's coming. It's all coming in clear here, man. Shit, I got three. Uh-huh. All right, I have three layers on the fucking screen, and it's like, I don't know. It's a bunch of bullshit, if you ask me. Can you see my man, though? I just see you, bro. You don't see, oh, you don't see my dog. All right. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, guys. F- okay, you know what? Just f- it. It's just gonna. We're just gonna run it. Anyways, I'm on here talking to my man DB Love. We were talking about a bunch of shit, but primarily he was talk- talking about how you got screwed out of three engagements, and now he's like fucking whores and saying, f- "It, I want to settle down now." <laughs> Right, right. I mean, in a nutshell, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to condense it to that. <laughs> Simply just that. <laughs> but, but um, I was saying, like, you know, the question for the evening, Derek, is should a woman be submissive? What do you think? Offer your perspective on that. You're gonna hang around a little bit, right, DB? Yes. All right, go ahead, Derek. Offer your perspective on whether or not. Well, excuse me. Yeah, whether or not a woman should be submissive. Submissive. Um. Uh, okay. Think he might. Derek. See, this is what happens when you uh, purchase the Obama internet. We're gonna um. <laughs> All right, the bastard left. I don't know. It's that fucking internet of his. He lives in like Black Canyon, Arizona. I'm like, okay. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a nice area too, in Arizona. Yeah, I know, but you're in a fucking boonies. You're in the middle of dead zone too. All right, Derek, are you, can you still hear me? Hold up. All right, can you can you still can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Yeah, man. I'll just tell my man DB, you gotta you gotta upgrade from that Obama internet. <laughs> that free shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. So we've go, all been there. So yeah. That yeah, yeah. Well, Derek, go ahead, man. Offer your perspective on the question for the evening. Um. Yeah, my answer is, you know, it really depends on the man that she's with. But you know, for the right man and you know the right relationship that they're in, like, yeah, a woman should definitely be submissive. But that's not that's not gonna be for every man though. But why should she be? Why should she be submissive? Yeah, why should she choose, like consciously choose to be submissive? Because that's what she wants to do. Okay, well I'll answer I'll follow up with the fact that um it's because that's their nature. Simply because a woman's nature is to follow the man. Think about it. I, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down the. I'm gonna go go down the whole uh, theological lane. So give me. Uh, you know, humor me. When God created Adam, he created Eve. Then he create. Well, uh, he took uh, Eve from Adam, and Eve right. was only simply there to assist Adam in any capacity. Didn't even go into detail. She was just there. For him. So if we take it back to the fundamentals, women are there for men. And the biggest predictor of a woman's happiness is her family. They've done multiple studies on this. Multiple studies. So all yeah, I'm but all she I'm can't simply just be submissive for like a straight beta type of dude. Well, you know? yeah, I I 100% agree, but that's why the fathers should be there to help the daughters vet the men that they want to potentially bear their child for. The the, the dads are supposed to be there, the brothers, the male figures in her life are supposed to help her vet the type of man that she should give her you know, her womb to. <clears throat> they should be, but they're not always. Right, they're not always. But today, eight out of fucking ten divorces are being filed by women. Today, there are. Hey, say it again. Would you say, uh, DB? I was answering one of my friends in the comment. I saw oh. three of my friends who are all, all female from them, and I said hi. Oh, hello, hello. But it's it's also society right now too, because it's it's telling these women that you know. But they don't need to coming from a standpoint just, of uh, someone who is the money, only male basically. in a group of 139 women, there is a balance into all that. The balance is is if you're not pig-headed and, and not stubborn, they'll listen to you and follow you wherever you go. But at the same time. I feel like it by versus turns the other way where you also have to take interest in what they're doing too and do that kind of friendship. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. Um, I just think that, like I said, I want the biggest predictor of a woman's happiness is her family and her children. Um, you know, you got women today who are pursuing careers pursuing their their career driven women that would substitute a man for a fucking puppy today you got women that are just totally objecting the uh, objecting and opposing the the traditional uh institution of marriage they're like outright objecting to it they're, and they're not women and men are not, are, are, are are excuse me, birth rate birth rates are declining Men and marriage rates are decline, declining now because we're in such a liberated society where everybody can pretty much do whatever the physic they choose. People are choosing, women particularly, are choosing not to uh, adhere to their nature, which is to have a family. More women are going against this idea, this notion, this traditional uh, uh, notion of family They are going against that they're, they're opposing that idea Because they feel like It's all derived from a patriarch, patriarchal system And you know 
it oppresses them in some type of way. Anybody want to respond to that? <clears throat> I mean, you can't just put it on At the, the women, same though, man. Time, I'm, I, not. I I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying, women have a con that women play a contributive. Women contribute to the problem as well. Please don't get this of impression. Course. Do not get this impression that I am saying that the brunt of our issues today, our societal issues today, fall on the shoulders of women. My thing is don't rush to the rescue of women because I'm merely pointing out what their contribution was and is today. That's all I'm saying. It's like, look, we both we both need to crawl over broken glass, men and women, to come and meet at the table together. But the thing about it is, it's it's becoming more apparent if you're if you're aware enough to see it that women are just believing they're equal to men, and they can they can they can basically do whatever the fuck they want. And what they want is contrary to their nature today. It's totally contrary to their nature. You got bitches that want they got hot girl summers. Let me get out there and throw that pussy all around fucking town for a summer. You know why? You ever ask yourself, why is it hot girl, hot girl summer? Why isn't it hot girl year? Because women don't have the capacity to be fucking and sucking all year like that. They don't. They just don't. That's against their nature. But you see more of this happening. And if you haven't noticed, you haven't been, not you haven't been observing it because it's happening. And there's information and data and empirical evidence to prove it that is happening. Yeah, man, it's it's the society we're in these days, man. You're looking at 18 and 19, 20 year old girls out here that are just basically looking for sugar daddies and stuff. Like they're not looking to, you know, just get in a relationship and or even just like really expound their knowledge. They're just, you know, and obviously this isn't everyone, but, you know, a lot of the the finer females you see out here are just they're looking for one thing. They're trying to get paid and yep. and just be free, you know, yep. not not be bound down by right. a family and stuff like that. Yeah, like they're they're just looking to get out of there. But, but you don't go to your fucking deathbed saying that I wish I had more money. People want more time with their families. But whatever. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think about it, bro. When you die, what the fuck is etched on your gravestone? A component of family. Beloved father. Yeah. You know, uh, beloved that, brother. Honestly. That's what our society... That's right there is what our society value is family. So for women to object to, to totally uh, abscound from the notion of being a mother and a and, and a nurturer to her family if she objects that whole idea then you're count that's counter to your nature a reason to be submissive that's my biggest thing i think on top to hit the nail on the head on that one i think that the one thing that i read recently just from traveling a couple of weeks that the, the topic that was passed around to everyone is they cried for you when you came into the world and are they going to cry for you when you leave the world going you left too soon Right. Like, because you could have done more. Right. Like, they don't need to be like, oh, my God, he's gone, blah, blah, blah. They need to be crying, you know, hoping that they could still see you kind of motion. Right. No, you're right. And I, feel like, and I feel like that they don't do that enough. And I just had this talk not too long ago with one of my closest friends. And she goes, well, what's my purpose in life? What is this and that? And. I said, and I said, well, what do, you, what do you want to do in life? And she goes, well, I want to do da, 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 this. I said, well, so then your purpose would be to multiply. And you need to figure out how you want to do that with the light of Kai or the light person. Because you getting hurt every time is not going to help you. Right. So I feel like, it, it, yes, it, it comes down to that topic of, you know, you know all the names like I was is I'm listening to you I'm reading messages after messages after messages after messages on Instagram and 98% of the conversations that I have from my friends who are again all female and like here's one right now one of the conversations I had is well, how do I find the right guy what is my purpose in life well I want to do this or how yep. do I do this yep or 
or you know I'm afraid, but you know he doesn't see the same vision as me mm -hmm. on this. Yep, scared. Yep. Most of the conversation, most of the conversation involves marriage, uh, sex, pregnancy, and how to do it. Like there's one girl that I asked her. I said, if you could have one dream, have one superpower, one dream, what would it be? She didn't say be married. She didn't say have a joyful life. She didn't say you know be fable. She said one specific word that I thought was very interesting. She said to be joyful, happy, and multiply. And share knowledge. So to have a family, and I, to have a family and to basically have a husband and have a family is what it sounds like to me. It, it does. And that right there is the whole fraud that I see over and over. Right. And some people have been married some of these people have been engaged some of these people have never had a single guy in their life but i think it's funny how this me being the only guy in the group they evolve around me and it's like well well you must know people that you know think and act and you know perform at the same level that you do and then they're very surprised when they realize that my number of friends who are males is like very well like four percent when the rest of it is eighty five percent women. Get yourself some more male friends, man. Just uh just a side note there. <laughs> that is a side note. But it, it's like but you know, I think it's interesting because not only like I was leading one I was leading one message here as I was listening to you, and this guy messaged her and said, Hey, well he you know, the typical shit that most people do and she said, No. And he said, why not? He goes, because if I was going to date anyone, if even if you're the last damn man on earth, I probably would date Parker, who's the host of this page. All right. Well, look, yes. look, I'm telling you, man, we're all saying the same yes. thing here. It's just that we're all conditioned. Look, we live in a gynocracy today, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed that. We live in a gynocracy. That means that it's predominantly female oriented. You know, there's all about feelings today men are about logic women are about feelings our minds are neurologically equipped and, and our hardware is differently is it's different our hardware men and women's hardware is different they process negative emotions different there's so much science and literature that backs that point up we all have specific assigned roles and life ultimately is about fucking people that's what it's all about i've reached that of conclusion it's about people that's it um, but simply put, DB Love, check this out. I'm doing a weekly podcast on Wednesdays, 8.30 to 9 o'clock mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in joining the panel, I'm going to send you a message probably like an hour after I get off of here. Respond if you want to, okay. or just f*** around and disregard it. <laughs> I'll probably join you in that podcast. I love podcasts. I do a couple of myself back to back on the weekends. All right. Um, but the, to beat the nail on the topic, we need more strong men who Hell can yeah. take the lows of being a leader. Hell and fucking I feel like yeah. today's generation doesn't do that. Let me give you a fucking round of applause for that. Give me a second. Hold up here. Um. Yeah, I know. I'm still trying to get these effects all together, but you know, I'm black, so you know how it is. Here we go. Thank you, DB. I'm. Th I'm glad you joined. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How are you, darling? You got money. You got money. Don't start that shit. <laughs> Do you got money? No. See, we starting off on the wrong fucking foot here. You gonna make me hit the smack button on your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Who the fuck you talking wait, about? Wait, wait, let's be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. Okay. We have to be kind okay. to each other. Okay. okay. See how that got really That's ugly? Funny. But I'm saying, you see how that just got really ugly? Let's not do that. Yeah, can't right. me. Wait a second. You doing the most. Denied. I'm, I'm doing the most. Yes. Where your daddy at? I got two baby dads. I'm looking at him right here. No, don't do that dumb shit. You're going to make me hit the smack button on your motherfucking ass. <laughs> No, I'm going to follow you. <laughs> no, I'm going to follow I'm you, do. too. Shit, love your ass. Oh, and I love you, too. All right, then. Me and collard greens. That's what I like. I like collard greens and that bone. Throw that collard shit up. Greens. Put it up, then. Uh, All right, baby girl. Hey, look, but I wanted to ask you a question. Can you, like, hang up with Big Bertha so I can ask you this question, if you don't mind? Who the fuck is Big Bertha? 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 Who the fuck is Big
You got five seconds. Let's go. All right, check this out. So, should a woman be submissive? Yes. Tell me yes. why. A woman should be. Go ahead, sister. The only reason why a woman should be submissive is because that's the woman is the tail. The the man is the head. The woman is the tail. In God's eye. nowadays, whoever's the breadwinner, whoever is not the breadwinner, should be the submissive one. Okay, but Period. do you? Okay. Do you think women today demonstrate them? Excuse me. They present themselves in a way to where they are willing to be submissive to a man. No. Let me answer this one. It depends. One. It depends. Let me answer this one. Women, women these days are the breadwinner, and some men are not the breadwinner. So, with that being said, if, like I said, the woman is the one paying the bill, then you know the niggas should be the the, the guy should be the house. <laughs> so okay okay and, okay and, and that does play itself out definitely see it all the time check this out though do you think that inherently if a woman uh takes the position to be in a, the, the the authority figure of the home that ultimately she'll gradually start to de- resent that man she'll resent his ass and won't respect him it, it, it depends on how the woman how the man treats the woman well, you just said that he'll be his bitch. You you just said that she, he'll be her bitch, right? Well, not technically. It depends Damn. On the level of the relationship. So it depends on the level of the relationship because some women can be some women can be masculine and cocky, and some men can be like a, a bitch. But if the man is is is, is being the if, if they have the full understanding of of their position, then you know it, it is what it is. They but I understand they, they position they wrong. Okay, but uh, but I'm asking. Okay, but I'm asking you though. Do you think it is conducive for a longevity of a long-standing relationship for a woman to be submissive to the man? We're not talking about like reversal of those roles. Not what we're seeing happen today as far as women being superior. But do you think it is the most effective way of going about things, especially pertaining to marriage? Not technically, because at the end of the day, a man wants to remain his manhood, his uh, his man role. And if a woman is playing the man role, then I don't think it'll, it'll last that long. All right. Well, did you want to say something, homegirl? <laughs> Hold up. I wanted Miss Zaddy to say. Zaddy? That's your name? <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Where your fucking daddy at? Ah! Anyway. Did you want to say something? Did you want to say something before uh, I skate on by? Because I'm just talking to people, asking them the no, question for the evening. I just think that actually, you know, I think somewhere down the line, technology has really abrupted how women should be and how men should be in a relationship. I think back in the day when my great grandma and grandma them was growing up, how they sustained a, a relationship for longevity. It doesn't happen anymore because of technology. Okay. Everything changes. And is that good or is that bad for our humanity? That's bad because you. It's bad because you know. Back in the day, the mother the, and the great grandmother taught the the young daughter how to be a woman, how to you know, not not much so being submissive, but how to maintain. And I, I think like- over time, it got washed away. Well, check you out. See, see, behind all that goofiness, you got some substance to you, girl. Let me hit the smack button for you. I I love, listen, oh, are you a nigga? Nope. Yeah. Hold the f*** up. (laughs) Hold up. (laughs) Hold up. All right. Well, on that note, I'm just going to bid you all adieu. I love y'all both. Appreciate the input. Hello. What's up, big dog? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, okay. You with it. I can already feel your energy. Check this out. I got a question for the evening. I want to get your input. What's happening? All right. So the question is, my big dog, should women be submissive? It depends. Oh, my fucking God. Beta bell. You going to... I'm look, I'm sorry, I'm not taking this out on you, man, but you are the fifth fucking person that, to answer it that way. Huh? I said you the fifth nigga, motherfucker to answer it that way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
damn. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Yes, yes. If 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 it depends, you feel what I'm saying? Because you don't want no bitch that's too submissive, and you don't want no bitch that ain't gonna be submissive. You know what I'm saying? Simp, valedictorian of his high school. So it's a it's a line it's a line. You feel what I'm saying? But so you yeah, do. But hold up, hold up, hold up. But you do understand that submiss submission simply means cooperation. It means voluntary right. cooperation. So you basically said. I, you want a woman that's going to be uh, cooperative and a woman that's going to be non-cooperative, non-compliant. No, I want a woman. I don't want a woman to be on her like I'm saying that as in I don't want to be able to tell my bitch shut the fuck up, bitch, and shut and sit your ass down. And in some situation, I can be like shut up and she know like this that situation. But then I don't want no bitch I can run over either. You get what I'm saying? So give me a situation where a bitch you will give a woman permission to run over you. Not run over me. Well, like, you said, you said, but I'm saying, though, you said you don't want to chase. like, listen, like, if we buy, like, look, now, look, now, you know, you got to let your woman leave sometimes. You gotta let and what, leave, okay, like, so pause, 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 pause. In what scenario do you have to let your woman leave? It, de it depends on, like, the scenario. So, like, if, if, if it's something that you, if it's not something that you... Not strong at all. Something that you like what, bro? Strong, bro, I'm asking you. You, be, it, it, you being too vague. Listen, business. listen, listen. It you being vague, bro. Be listen, with. listen. You being vague. Like, give me, like, try to describe a scenario. Give me any type of situation that you probably been in in your life with a chick where you said, baby, you know what? Girl, you take the lead. Dealing with a business. Dealing with, with you with personally. Business. Yes, you personally. Tell me where right. that strategy has worked out for you. Yeah, letting my letting my woman leave when when it was dealing with this bitch. You said business. Letting her leave and be, yeah, a business. You feel me? So let her leave except for I think I know it all, and I'm thinking I know it all, but really, baby girl, she know a lot, so I gotta sit back and let her leave. So and let her get this shit together. That's so so would you encourage men since you've been in a situation like that? Would you would your advice be to men is? That when you are defective in a certain area, and you when you are not sufficiently sufficiently intelligent with regards to whatever type of situation you're dealing with, if you're not smart enough to deal with that situation yourself, let your woman lead. For sure. So, but let your woman take. But I'm saying that's the advice. Like, like, listen, listen. You a woman don't a woman won't want a nigga like that's always like being like want to be like in that type of situation so you gotta let your woman leave you know? like, i don't want a woman that's gonna always be behind me my woman gonna be on the side of me though you get what i'm talking about uh-uh i I'm don't no listen i yeah, don't all right well listen let me explain it to you let me explain it to you right because niggas get it fucked up you supposed to let it's a king and a queen you hear me like i'm the leader right but you still your woman still supposed to be seen you get what i'm saying so she ain't never gonna be behind me. I still run the shit. You get what I'm saying? But still, when it's time for her to run shit, she gotta step up and run the shit. And I got, I'm on let her. You get what I'm saying? What's good? What's good, old school? You, you look like you five, fade. You look five, like you. Five. You look like you faded and spliffed out. For real. Hell to the year. Yeah. You kind of remind me of my brother right now. Sure. <laughs> uh, no, for real though. <laughs> I really just cut. Out. I just cut all my hair off, and I just got a face tattoo. Hey, man, I look, I can give a fuck about your looks. I wanted to ask you a question, though. I'm on here just asking a question, man. You, you, you a nigga, so, uh, you know, you can do your best to try to give me your perspective. So the question is, um, should a woman be submissive? Huh? Should a woman be submissive? Hell no. Baby, oh, man. Why not? What you mean, why not? You, bro, I'm going to ask you again. Should a... Oh, that's what I... Okay. He next me. <laughs> what do you mean, why not? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> should a woman be... Hell no. Nah, she words, should... Are you but... fucking kidding me? I deal with the bitches that beat my fucking ass. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why not? Just go to the hood, nigga, because the hood nigga already going to go above and beyond when he comes okay. to a girl like me because he's going to appreciate what I bring to the table mm -hmm. versus a good guy who knows he has all these options. He's going to take me for granted. So I'll just go to the hood nigga who going to, you know what I'm saying, take me on the adventure I deserve. You know what I'm saying? He's like, why not? Hello?
Come at my motherfucking carry on. Hello. Fuck y'all. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hey. I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I don't know what your sexual orientation is, uh, but I've been running into a lot of, you know. <laughs> but uh, I want to ask a question, if you don't mind answering it, uh, or you can hit the next button, okay? No. Not at all. All right. So the question is. Should a woman be submissive? <laughs> like, submissive is like in control, right? Submissive is just cooperation, voluntary cooperation. I mean, yeah, I mean, why not? Okay. So you agree so you agree with me that the the man should lead and a woman should be submissive to the man. Right. Okay. All right. I mean, if the man if the man working, you know what I'm saying? He, why not? Right. So the male, if the male, as long as the man is implementing his value, which is providing, protecting, and uh, preaching, um, as long as he's following his his role, the woman should follow hers, right? Exactly. Right. Do you think a lot? Of, you think that's um, the way our society is going today? Say that again. Do you think that's the direction in which our society is headed today? Traditional roles? No. Uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of us we just beating on our women. That's that's what I think. Not you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them just beating on the women. Like they not even. You know I don't, I don't know what way they explain it, but. A lot of Wait a second, where'd you get that information that a lot of men are just out here just beating the shit out of you? Where'd you get that from? I mean, I'm just saying. Let me give a little round of applause. Like, what up? It was good. It was good. I think I'm getting more, uh, I'm getting more used to this crap. 